Good morning, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Now, I know y'all want me to put on makeup and get my fine red high heel shoes on and do the whatever dance, but I cannot do that because I am a truck driver <laughs> at the moment of my life. And you know, it's bad enough being a woman out there and men flocking at you like you're some magnet and it gets worse if you have makeup on so please please bear with me my friends and ignore the appearance okay so we were talking about what occurs in the transition between the physical into the spirit realm and communicating with our friends, our family from this life who have already completed their transition. So and personally, why I'm aware of this or what makes me so-called an expert, which I am not an expert, <laughs> the more you know, the more you discover, the less you know. So, um, I have went through the transition of all my relatives um, being deceased and I've taken care of all of their funerals <clears throat> and everything. Um, I think the hardest was my father. I still have a hard time getting over that one because I knew I needed to be there. I knew it and I wasn't, that was one. Number two was that he died young, a young age. He was like 53, 54, so. Um, and let's see. And then there was the accidental occurrence which had taken place also recently in my life uh, with a significant other. So I have dealt with a lot of that. However, I understand the purpose of the transition. We are living a temporary human experience. Therefore, the soul, the purpose is to fulfill our soul contract. Um, so you just have to find what is your soul contract. Number two, if you have lost one of your significant others or a relative or a child, which is the worst, is definitely the worst, um, and you want kind of to understand what is this transition? What happens next? How can I communicate with them? Is it even possible? So there are actually several locations that the soul will go to and through in the transition. And they are written in many ancient writings, um, some in the Sanskrit, some in Arabic, some in Hebrew, some in Assyrian. Um, just depends on your willingness to do the research. Sorry, something flew in my eye. Okay, your willingness to <laughs> do the research. So they all have a consistent pattern about them. It is only the Bible that I have found is inconsistent and some of you may not like hearing that. So, and that being There are many religions in Christianity, ones that say, oh, you're dead, you're dead. Ones that say, oh, you continue on. Ones that, you know, it varies. It just, it varies. And it's nobody's fault. It doesn't make one book higher than another book. It doesn't make one word stronger than another word. It's just, a confusion because of a translation and that's the reason the original 
Biblia is not in the English language. There's a lot of translation error that takes place and I know that a lot of people have tried to correct those translation translation errors. So, overall, once you pass to where you can see all things and there is no more time relevancy, um, you'll go to a place called the Barak. Berazak, sorry, Berazak. And in the Berazak, it is a beautiful white dome. And perhaps as the human form being in there, one might state it's like watching doves flying in a circle. I have been there when I visited my grandmother, my father and my grandfather all at once. Um, and there wasn't much of a message. It's just, I went there without knowing where I was. So I researched where and what happened. Also, when the dead speak to you in your dream, pay very, very close attention to what they have to say because they may not speak a lie. It is impossible. And when they come to visit you, that is truly their soul, but you are perceiving it as their former life. Um, from the Berzak, you might transition into a classroom. Now, this takes a lot of research to find where are these classrooms, what are they, what is it all about. Note, you are the designer and the creator of your human life form if you have chosen to once again return to the planet Earth for whatever purpose based upon your soul contract. So you came here for a reason. Every single one came for a reason. This little pine cone has a purpose. If a pine cone has a purpose, and that is to feed a squirrel, then you have a purpose. So note, every single living entity has a purpose and do not ever think you are without purpose. Um, so now we go from Berezak, Ber Berezak, yes. And we have went into the classroom and in the classroom, that is where you will design your natal chart basically. Um, with outcomes, you will note whom you will meet and the purposes behind those meets. And that is why you have deja vu, because suddenly you're having a flash of a memory which has never occurred, but it did occur because you designed it. Um, to communicate with your family, you can use the elements of water and we will discuss that in my next video. Using the elements of water and other sources for communication with our relatives. It is safest to communicate in the dream world than in the living world because there are many spirits, not just the soul of us. So sometimes they all have free will exclusive of the angels and sometimes they just like to play some games so you want to be conscientious about how you're calling those you wish to communicate with and the best way will be with water and dreaming lucid dreaming or actual in the moment of dream so I look forward to talking about that and I wish you all a beautiful day.